and I'm at an alpaca farm, and I'm really excited because I've never seen an alpaca. I don't... This, friends, is the bunk and brew. A token, it's good for one beer. Let's go get a beer. Hi, this is Susan. Join me today as I visit an alpaca farm and enjoy some sweet amenities at the bunk and brew in Bend, Oregon. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, yesterday I was at Crater Lake and I saw some amazing views there. I shared those with you. So if you haven't seen that episode, make sure and check it out. I think you'll really love it. But today I am in Lapine, Oregon, which is just south of Benz. And I'm at an alpaca farm. And I'm really excited because I've never seen an alpaca. I don't know anything about them other than that they're a source of wool. So uh, later this afternoon, I'm going to get a tour from the owners of Red Oak Farm in Lapine, and we're going to go check out these alpaca. And the other thing that's super nice is where I'm parked on their, on their property, I'm able to see views of Mount Bachelor, and it's really nice. Pretty soon, we're going to get out there and check out those alpaca, and of course, as always, I'm going to bring you with me. Goodness. They're cat like in their personality, oh, so they like to come to you. Interesting. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at all this wool. Is it called wool, Nancy? No, it's called fiber. Fiber, okay. Um, wool is from sheep. Okay, I was like uh, going through Gregory's in my mind. <laughs> it's kind of a fun game. It is. Yeah. And that one is Twitch that is walking. Oh. Walking the man around. with no name? <laughs> Blondie? Is that what you're talking about? Clint Eastwood? He's got a very uh, inquisitive face. He's like, what's going on? This is Gary. Harry? Gary. Gary Cooper. Yes. Yes. He was born <laughs> at, at noon, so we call his movie name is High Noon. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Yeah. So this is cool. And then you can get your hands into him. Oh. Go ahead and really press oh, into it. Oh my, oh my gosh, that is so deep. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of wool. Oh, I keep saying wool, it's fiber. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And if you feel, this is called a staple. So okay. there's a lot of staples. Okay. And um, the crimp is called crimp. Hey, oh, we don't need to, we don't need the thing. And, and if you it's go, it's almost like a little um, line here. Yeah. So this hasn't gotten all dirty. Oh, so that's I see. how his original color. And I see. How see. Okay. Oh, very neat. So he's considered a white, even though he looks kind of dirty brown. They're curious. They're like, "Who are you? What are you doing?" <laughs> Goodness. The one that's Hello. Oh my goodness. I can live between 20 and 25. Wow. Oh. <laughs> That's a 
great movie. Yeah. Family owns a factory that makes this stuff, and 10% of what you buy goes to her charity, which is for battered women in Peru. So um, those are beautiful. And then these are little stories about the women who've made. Really? Yeah. Oh, I and see. And they have pictures and stuff. Okay. How neat. Yes, I would love to get one of these. This is fantastic. Nancy Lynn has been a great hostess. She showed me everything. Um, I feel like I've asked her a million questions and she's been so patient. Uh, all right, I'm gonna get a few things and I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Say goodbye. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, I just had such a great time yesterday. I wanted to make sure and thank Red Oak Farm, thank Nancy Lynn for the amazing tour and being so patient with me with all the multitude of questions uh, that I had yesterday about the alpacas. The experience was amazing and I even uh, got a few things from the gift shop. She's got some beautiful alpaca items there as well and I also wanted to thank Ken for greeting me when I got here. The hospitality was amazing so thank you so much for that. I'm going to be leaving Lapine now and I'm making my way north to Bend and I've got uh, a place that I'm going to hang out there. I'm hoping that they'll have room to accommodate me. It's called Bunks and Brews. And I've never been there and I'm really excited to be there because evidently uh, you can stay overnight. They have showers, they have saunas, they have laundry and uh, a bunch of van lifers. And I'm really excited about tapping into that van life community. So let's get on the road and we'll check that out. <laughs> gentleman that poured me the beer was telling me that they have trivia uh, on Thursday nights and people will go to trivia across the street then they come back over here and they listen to some sweet jams and uh, I might just have to do that oh, sounds amazing okay I got a sauna shower uh, free Wi-Fi got my laundry done got beer I uh, got a burrito from one of the food trucks at, at the the Bunk and Brew. I really love this place. I will definitely be back. Um, it's called the Dirt Bag, the Daily Dirt Bag Deal. And uh, that's like a loving term that's uh, called Dirt Bag Climbers, really. I don't climb anymore like I used to, but that's going to change soon, I hope. Uh, anyways, um, I really had a blast uh, at the Red Oak Farm in Lapine. And uh, those alpacas were just, that was a really, really fun time. 
So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, I have a few things mapped out for the next episode, but you'll have to stay tuned and I hope to see you on that one. In the meantime, have a great rest of your week and I'm going to get back on the road here after I get a little sleep tonight and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.